opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. The bishop's opening starts with bc4 where it attacks the f7 square and controls d5 white has the option of playing f4 or developing the queen on the next move. Nf6 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. d3 protects the e4 pawn and the c4 bishop, and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the e5 pawn and controls the d4 square. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn and controls the d4 square. Bc5 develops the bishop, attacks the f2 pawn and prepares castling. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is the last book move. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is good. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This misses a better way to move a bishop to safety. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. It is good. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This threatens to attack a trapped queen. It is excellent. This leads to losing a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to win a pawn. It is a miss. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This is the only move that works. It is best. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is best. This misses an opportunity to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to move a rook to safety. It is a mistake. Very precise. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. 
It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This threatens to create a past pawn. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to create a past pawn. It is a mistake. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of.